Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I wanted to show you a trick that you're able to use when you set up your Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus with the fingerprint scanner. Now, as you can see, I am unlocking the phone with my right thumb as well as the left thumb. So you might come to the conclusion that I set up two individual fingerprints with this device, and it's actually set up with one profile. Now, I wanna use the word profile because you can think of it as each individual person, and most people usually unlock it with a thumb on each hand. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say we head inside of the settings, we go down to biometrics and security, head inside of fingerprints, and you can see right here that it says one fingerprint has been added. So let me put in the credentials. On the screen here, you can see that it just says Jimmy. And that's because with this one profile, um, I set it up with both of my thumbs. Now, every single time that you add a fingerprint, it is scanning your thumb or finger 16 times. And what it does is it goes through its memory. It goes through all of the scans that is being used when you set it up. So then this way it'd be able to unlock your phone. But if you kind of think of it this way, if you're setting up 16 scans, of one thumb, it has to go through all 16 scans to approve and unlock the phone. So what happens if you actually just set it up to where you go right, left, right, left? So it will definitely still work. And here you can see that there is another fingerprint that is added. So what I'm going to do is I'll actually go through, I will remove these, go back inside of add fingerprints. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the phone pretty much the same way that I would hold onto the phone to unlock this device. So I'm gonna hold onto it this way, hold onto it this way, but I'm also gonna go at different angles. So I just went two more there, two more here. So let's just kind of finish it out in pretty much the exact same area of what it would be held like, you know, if I was holding onto the phone. So unlock, unlock, unlock. So really what's happening here is I set up my fingerprint one is underneath the profile of Jimmy. So now this way, if my fiance or another family member wants to set up a fingerprint, they will add in a fingerprint, but they should technically call it add profile. So then this way underneath Jimmy, there is 16 scans total. There is eight with my right thumb, eight with the left. And then with somebody else, you have 16 more, eight with their right and then eight with their left. So now let's just go through here and let's just go through the phone and you can see that it is still super fast now remember you do want to press down on the fingerprint area a little bit more than what you normally would so i can actually go there and tap it so it's a really fast tap but there's just a little bit of pressure that i'm pushing down with my thumb it's actually not a lot some people think that you can just kind of tap and go and bam try to beat the clock um, it will not unlock it and if it does unlock it's not a secure fingerprint so there has been a few people out there that was really kind of going through and trying to, I guess you can say, beat the clock. Um, but if they were trying to beat it, it's really not that secure. It's not really going through the full ID of the thumb. Maybe the 2D fingerprint on the OnePlus 6T is able to go that fast. But again, it's not as secure. And the nice thing I like about this one versus the OnePlus 6T is I can unlock the phone when it's in a black screen, meaning the screen is off but the ultrasonic fingerprint reader underneath is still operational and still working. So on the OnePlus 6T, you would have to turn on the screen in order for it to even use the light to read your thumbprint. So this was pretty much the trick I wanted to show you guys. Um, you don't have to set up multiple you know, fingerprints of the exact same thumb or go through two full complete profiles of a right thumb and a left thumb for the phone to read 32 different scans of a thumb to unlock it. Um, you can actually just go right on through, set up your profile as yourself, and then maybe someone else. And if you don't need anybody else, your phone is only going through 16 scans total to unlock the phone, which in theory at the end of the day should be just a little bit faster. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.